Okay, so we were pulling up to the canyon just now and there is a Bugatti Veyron. I don't know if you can see it, hold on. Pull up next to it, see if you can get closer. What the hell? Because we've seen this trailer and all of a sudden we see that. I wonder what else is inside the, the car hauler. They got a Mustang. Whoa. No, wait, that's not even real. That's a fake Veyron, what the fuck? Hold on, we gotta... Dude, I'm very confused. I don't know if that's real or not. The front proportions look so bad. We, we, gotta, we gotta make a U-turn and pass that again. Hold on. We're gonna make a U-turn real quick and I wanna double check. I don't know if that thing's real or not. It looked real from, from a distance, but... Okay, we flipped around, we're coming back to it. It's gonna be just over here on the right. It's white, it's white with blue. I don't know. We're gonna do like a nice slow roll past it. Here it is right there. I don't know. Just be like, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Like, is it real? It doesn't, look, it doesn't look real. I can't tell if it's real or not. It doesn't, it does not look real. Yeah, that's really squinty. I don't know, it could be a replica. Like somebody put it on another chassis. I don't, I don't know if it's like that, because you like the butt. I don't know. Flip around here and then we'll, we'll, we'll go up to the crest after. Dude, that thing, I don't know. I'm just gonna like pull it into the actual Like, <laughs> Dude, that don't, that guy like three times. That don't look real. I want you, I want you guys to comment in the comments below. If you think that looks real. Like, I don't think it's real. But we we shall see. It, it yeah, it just it don't look real. Like from a distance it does. But they have like a GT uh, GT five hundred and an Urus in the trailer, and then you have this. I don't know. We're gonna drive by it slow. One more. This is gonna be the last time, I promise. But I cannot tell if that is real or fake get a good look for you right there is that real no no it's a fucking it's a kit that's a fake Bugatti Veyron what okay <laughs> okay so that's a good way to start off the day with a fake Veyron perfect okay so we deemed it to be fake because we drove past it a third time and sorry for the bumpiness. We drove past it a third time and we looked at the wheels. The brake calipers on it are of that of like a Corolla or something because they're only like two piston brake calipers. The Bugatti's not real. From a distance it looked real. That's why I freaked the fuck out and stopped real quick. But it, it ain't real. It's it's 100% a replica. Which I mean is from a distance it's not a bad replica. But when you start getting closer to it you're just like yeah, no, that's that uh, that don't look right. The body proportions were weird. It was too short. It was too wide. The it was it was a whole mess once we started getting close to it. And the dude was fucking. He was proud to be in that fucking car. <laughs> that it, I mean, that was weird. But I mean, hey, people will do whatever they want with money, I guess. But buy a fake Bugatti Veyron. I'd, I'd rather buy the real thing, you know? I know people make replicas all the time, but I don't know. It was it was a good replica from, from a distance. But like I said, when we got close to it, it started just showing all its true colors. The brakes were bad, the chassis was sitting on, the wheels were bad replicas. Ugh, it was a whole, it was a whole train wreck. But yeah, we're heading up to Angela's Crest right now. We're taking one of the back roads. Um, Maybe see some cars up there, I don't know. Maybe my head into Beverly after. Maybe just kind of like pass through. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out today. Partly cloudy. It's like, what, 70s? It's gorgeous today. How was that? Was that M5? 240. Oh, 240. 280Z. And we got a cyclist. And we got a cyclist. <laughs> nice. That's pretty. Whoa! Holy shit! Fuck, dude. Yo! <laughs> 
See what I say about people doing this during the day? Never fucking overdo it during the day. It was fucking Holy crap. Both Jeez, he almost hit us and that 280Z. That thing is nice.
comes rants. There's the building. It's apparently closed today, so there's nobody up here. But yeah, this is the view you get when you're parked up here. We got a nice big redwood right here. It's really cool. Taking in the view. This is a big pet peeve of mine. If you're up in the canyons and you don't know how to drive, especially in foggy conditions, there's turnouts like Exhibit A. There's turnouts over here where you could pull off and let people like us who want to drive a little faster go past. Like, see, she could have pulled off right here, right in that spot. But no, she continues to go 25 down this road because she is uncomfortable. That's what the turnouts are for, lady. Take the turnout and get out of our way. It's called driver's etiquette. This is one of my biggest pet peeves when either me or my brother are driving up in the canyons and nobody moves out of the way. It's just like, why? Just move out of the way. It's not that hard. All right, and we are finally here in the city of Beverly Hills. There's a red, it's like a chrome red California over there. Oh my lord. Light turned green literally a second ago. But yeah, there's like a chrome red California. Not the best spec. No, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely a worse spec. But yeah, we're finally on Sunset heading towards Rodeo Drive. A um, couple, couple cool cars passed, a white GT3 RS, a um, couple Urses, uh, Cullinan, and that poor Ferrari. The e-tron was falling ass. But yeah, now it's all sunny and clear down here. Whereas it was up in the mountains, it was um, cloudy and foggy and had some potential rain up there. But now it's all clear and it's like 75 down here. So yeah, we're just gonna probably do a loop, spot around and then see what else uh, occurs during the day. All right, tell me what you guys think this guy's up to. He's got a megaphone on his back and he's holding a thing of pipes. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> he's got a whole ass megaphone. Speciesism? Speciesism? On one of the Oh, they're doing a. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Never mind. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice. M8 in green. We're not. We're not going to give any more to the animal right protesters. That's what they are. That's nice. Dog vlog. Look how happy that little pupper is. <laughs> happy little dog. So yeah, we've seen that M8. Uh, what the fuck is this person doing? It's a straight, dude. It's a straight. You can't make a. You can't make a left in the center lane. Oh my God! People are stupid. Ooh, there's a Gallardo back there. Very nice. We'll swing around and film that. But yeah, finally in Beverly Hills. Some good stuff. Uh, yeah, a little Porsche. Porsche action. All right, we're in the pursuit of a blacked out. LP640 Murcielago right here. Stop right next to him if you can. Oh, yes, please. Right there. Yes. I love it, I love it, I love it. There we go. Black 
the LP640. Alright, so we just got done finishing following that LP640 and like all matte black. Speechless. Every time I see a Mercy Lago, I know I've told you guys this many times, but every time I see a Mercy Lago, I flip my shit. It's my absolute dream car, and anytime I see it, I'm gonna get the chance to try and follow it and just just admire it for what it is. It's such an amazing car. And I'll hopefully plan on getting one in like 10, 10, 12 years. You know, work hard enough, I'll get one. Send my mind to it and everything. But um, we're gonna hit the Beverly Hills Hotel real quick, see if there's anything in the valet, and then probably call it a day. Um, it's been a long day, you know, we've seen some good stuff, had a good drive, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So we're just gonna do a loop through there and then call it a day. All right, we got a nice little Cadillac over here and like a salmon pink. We got a bunch of people in it, yeah. Oh, it's good. Get like a nice um, drive by. And then you got this guy in a C300 who fucking cut us off, and then he didn't use his blinkers. That cat is nice. But yeah, there was nothing at the hotel, so we're just gonna call it a day, and uh, we're gonna head home. So if you did like the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. I'm gonna say some whack ass right. shit that doesn't exist. Leave a, leave a comment on the video of what you want me to film in the future, what you want to see in Beverly, if you want me to go to other places to try and film. Um, leave a comment below, I would love. I really do enjoy hearing your guys' feedback because it does help the content that I produce for you guys. So please, if you, if you have any special recommendations, leave it in the comments below. But if you enjoyed today's video, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.